focus. I love you. Oh, you should tell them your focus. So yesterday, was it yesterday or two days ago? Yesterday. Was it yesterday? Came into the coffee shop and um, Michelle was at the counter. And I don't remember what I said, but at <laughs> Michelle, we're talking. And so, what? Is that, was that the word? I think I said, she, you're precious. And Michelle does just like this with her card, her card set to pay for her tea. She goes, I had a bad dream the night before that was like very tormenting. So what? You know, so that was the point. Is so what? Yeah, totally. You're precious. There's nothing to figure out. Amen. The thing to figure out is that God is good and you are precious. Amen. Hey, Amen. hey, God is good and you are precious. Amen. But I'm like, this girl is having a meltdown and she's about to have a baby. We need to do something fast. <laughs> So I said, hey, here's what I want your focus to be. Yeah. Yeah. For the next few days, you're not thinking through the dream. You're not thinking about anything, about when the baby's coming, all this stuff. Here's your one focus, two focus. God is good, and you are precious. <laughs> God is good, God is and good. you are precious to him. The focus is, yeah, it's, a, it's life-changing. Like, like, literally just focusing on his love has been, you know, <laughs> like I'm driving and I'm like, I realized I was driving like 20 miles an hour in like a 45 because I was like melting in his love. <laughs> like when I realized it, I sped up. But like I was just, I was like, whoa. It was like, like everything slowed down. And like I was telling Louisa earlier today, it's an actual place. Like his love is an actual place. And I felt so safe. Like, like the protection and safety, like there's no, I mean, there's really no way to describe it other than actually experiencing it with the Lord. Like, but all I did was just like, thank him for his love for me and believe that I'm loved. Like, and actually like connect my heart with his heart. I'm like, I can feel it right now. Yes, me too. I'm about to fall out. It's really so beautiful because like, I literally could see in the spirit how everything, like all the distractions and things that we worry about or, you know, like that catch our attention even, that aren't big things, but they're things that take our eyes off of him. And like, as I just was like, oh, I love you, God. I'm so loved. Oh, thank you for loving me. And like all of this stuff just like melted into the peripheral but like and it was like you're all that matters I've been missing so much because I've just been you know just daily life even like but like in that place of of like love focus and receiving his love everything just faded away and it, it's not that those other things aren't still there and they get taken care of but it's like from a place of total love, rest, <laughs> and surrender, he's just waiting for us to, like, really, like, have that focus of, of love <laughs> because it's so available. And I just, like, sat here and wept in just total surrender of his perfect love and Again, everything else just like, it just fades away. And I went, opened my Bible, <laughs> and I opened Isaiah 50, 43. And the first thing I looked down to is the scripture that says, you are precious to me. You are honored, and I love you. <laughs> and I was like, I mean, he's confirmed it over and over again. Like, he really is good. He really is good. Like, he's good. Everything he does is good, and he's good. We just get so distracted. So I was thankful for the focus. Me too.